Uh, I can't express, as I said earlier, Russell to me is a winner, you know. And anytime he's on the field, there's an opportunity that he can come through and make a play. So uh, we got to execute on our side. Uh, number one, stopping the run, not allowing those guys to get going, which is going to create, you know, element of their play action game, which he's very good at. So um, definitely still a dominant player, in my opinion. It's definitely the kind of day for some good old fashioned football in Charlotte. And it's definitely the perfect opportunity for the struggling Carolina Panthers to get a much needed win before they head into the bye week. Hello everybody, I'm Kevin Tolbert and welcome back to Bank of America Stadium where the Carolina Panthers are set to take on the Denver Broncos today. And for Carolina, the quarterback carousel continues to turn. This week, Sam Darnold becomes the third QB in as many weeks to start. Baker Mayfield will suit up as the backup. P.J. Walker, who appeared to be steering the team in the right direction, is still nursing a left ankle sprain. He was limited all week in practice and is listed as doubtful. However, this is the first action that Darnold has seen during the regular season, so it'll be interesting to see if he can play up to midseason form. The Denver Broncos have dominated the matchup between these two teams, including their last matchup in 2020. The Broncos got the best of the Panthers despite a great comeback effort to take the 32-27 win. The two teams also faced off in Super Bowl 50, which marked the Panthers' second trip to the Super Bowl in franchise history. Denver went on to win the game by a score of 24-10. Well, as we battle the weather here today, and before we get too deep into this week's matchup, let's take a look at who's not on the field today. Some key personnel for the Panthers not on the field today, Miles Hartsville, still nursing an ankle injury, and Matt Ioannidis. We'll hear about him a little bit later, but he's out for today's game. Corey Littleton, ankle injury, he's out for today. Then on the other side, the Broncos injury report has Jerry Judy, with an ankle injury, he's out for today. Kawan Williams is also out for the Broncos. So it'll be an interesting matchup today with some key figures still out of the lineup. With more on today's matchup, let's check in with ADSN analyst Kevin Casey. Kevin. A couple of teams in kind of a free fall. Carolina kind of finding its footing under Coach Steve Wilkes with a couple of victories. Coach Matt Rule left in uh, – you know, he's, by the way, got a job at uh, Nebraska, reportedly, so that's very good news for David Tepper. Less money he has to pay him. But Russell Wilson came over in a big ballyhoo trade with the Seattle Seahawks for the Denver Broncos, thought to be the missing piece for the Denver Broncos. It really hasn't turned out. Uh, a lot of uh, bad play, uh, quite frankly, for my hometown, uh, Russell, Russell Wilson from Richmond, Virginia, Collegiate High School, NC State, Wisconsin, and uh, through the Seattle Seahawks now with the Denver Broncos, he hasn't had that great of a season so far. They've been struggling on uh, on offense. I think it's been more of their defense letting them down. But Russell Wilson is still a dangerous threat to the Carolina Panthers. He's won a lot of games at Bank of America Stadium over the years. For the Denver Broncos, there they're going to look to uh, you know try to run the ball. They're going to let Russ Wil Russ, Russ cook. That's what they want to do. They want to do short passing. Hopefully, their defense can. Keep him in the games for the injuries for Denver. Jake Martin, uh, the defensive end, is questionable. Andrew Beck, a uh, tight end, is also questionable for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Miles Hartsfield is out. Also, the Golden Greek, Matt Ioannidis, a defensive tackle, he's out. Giovanni Ricci and P.J. Walker, both doubtful. They're not they're both doubtful. They're not playing. Sam Darnold gets the start at quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. So it's uh, going to be an interesting game. And with uh, Baker Mayfield as the backup, and it's uh, these dog days. You know, here we are uh, 10, 10 week, 10, 11 weeks into the season. Coach Steve Wilkes knows it's a grind. Again, we try to keep the focus away from, from them and really put it back on us. And that's really going out, trying to start fast for us and really executing, you know, on uh, all three phases. So uh, if we defer, we get the ball right here. Um, and, excuse me, if, if we defer and uh, they get the ball, all right, we got to go out and stop them. You know, if they kick the ball to us, we got to do a great job right there of going down and trying to uh, put the ball in the end zone. So it's all about starting fast, but most importantly, the mindset is all about finishing too. For Carolina, Terrence Marshall, Ian Thomas, and uh, Stephen Sullivan are all questionable. Uh, so it looks like Carolina, outside of you know Matt Ioannidis, 
uh, should have a full complement of their players. Uh, I, I don't know what uh, what what Denver. I've I've kept up with them from afar. They they've really disappointed. They 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 do have talent on the roster. Russell Wilson can beat you. He hasn't played well or up to his previous levels uh, so far this year. Carolina with Sam Darnold, you don't know. Uh, I, the rosters are, I think, fairly equal. Carolina may have a slight edge playing at home. Denver is a one-point favorite on the road, surprisingly. So uh, if you're uh, into gambling, you might want to jump on that. I, I think Carolina will somehow find a way to steal this, maybe even a late field goal in the uh, closing minutes. Not uh, not giving Sam Darnold much credit. I think this is going to be a very low-scoring, defensive-oriented game, and it could just be the team that has the ball last wins the game. All right, we'll have you uh, covered all the way up through uh, the pregame. We'll have some postgame analysis and keep you covered all week long for the Carolina Panthers as they host the Denver Broncos at Bank of America Stadium. For now, I'm Kevin Casey. So long for now. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the rain is still coming down here at, during our pregame report. It'll be coming down on Sam Darnold today as well. They'll be trying to test him to see if he can muster. We'll see if he can make the best of this opportunity. We've had a lot of fans asking us when ADSN will roll out some branded gear. Well, the wait is almost over. We finally have our ADSN hoodies coming to market very soon. So now you can keep warm with those warm cotton fleece hoodies while working out, hanging out, or just lounging around at home. You'll be able to grab those soon at ADSN1.com. So check out all of our latest apparel. So we're getting you all caught up for what's going on today and how Sam Darnold will try and test his abilities in his first appearance as a starter this regular season. We'll be back with more on the Carolina Pro Football Report on ADSN. At Heslip Wealth Advisors, our goal is to help small businesses develop quality retirement plans for their employees through our Lunch and Learn seminars. We provide lunch and learning tools to help your company succeed and unmatched customer service. Welcome back to the Carolina Pro Football Report on ADSN, also the home of your favorite sports magazine show, Chopping It Up with Buck, now airing every Friday on ESPN Radio right here in Charlotte. Be sure to check out every engaging episode. You can also find it on our flagship site, ADSN1.com. Well, the weather, which is sure to be an opponent today, has just turned it up a notch. It's raining pretty heavily out here, uh, but we're going to get you through the end of this uh, pre-game report, uh, but before we do that, we got to get you the keys to the game. So, key number one is protect the football. Ball security will be very important today because it's wet. <laughs> got to keep the ball safe. That'll be the number one priority for Sam Darnold and everyone else on the offense, and the defense will probably use this weather to try to help create turnovers. A slick ball, that's where you want to try to knock the ball out and get those turnovers. So look for, the look for the defense to be very frisky today. And our third key to the game is get off to a fast first half start. They've got to win the first half because Denver, that's where they are most prolific, but they slump. they've been slumping in the third quarter. So we want to make our biggest mark against this team in the first half. So look for that to happen. Well, that'll do it for the Pro Football Report here on ADSN from a rainy, very rainy and wet Bank of America Stadium. I'm Kevin Tolbert. Remember to log on to ADSN1.com to get all your updates and news for the game and practice all through the week, through the game and post game. So hopefully things dry out by game time. We'll see you after the game.